hello everyone i'm just trying to tame my hair i've just put the dry shampoo in to soften my um roots but it's that sort of thing of because you've got colored hair like mine do you have the dry hair here and then it sort of makes everything else go a bit wild which i like but um as all of us i could do with the trim i'm tempted to to do that myself anyway not for now i'm just going to get it out of the way hello you lovely lot how are you doing we're getting there, aren't we? Oh, I forgot to put my earrings in. Oh well, never mind. Um, I'm here to do a colour clash makeup. I thought really lovely and simple. I'm going to use a very, very sheer base, um, and this is called Work It Tinted Moisturiser. And this is a moisturiser, this is a tinted moisturiser that a friend of mine, a fellow colleague makeup artist, has produced, and it's brilliant. Non comedogenic, uh, fragrance free, all of those things that you would want. On your skin if you chose to work out with makeup on. I personally don't because I feel very claustrophobic and I don't really work out that much. Sorry I try, actually no I've been running but into the gym. Anyway so here we go just a little bit on your fingertips but obviously lots of girls and guys want to look fabulous in the gym now and why the heck not? Um, but this is a lovely formula because it's super refreshing. It's very small brand, may I add. It's a very small brand, um, but it's really lovely and it's great to support her. Um, and because I'm doing a colour clash look, and if I'm doing a lot of strong colour, I prefer to use matte finishes and just a really kind of clean, simple skin. Now we were talking, or I was listening, or I was reading your comments, um, and... I want to sort of feed back on something about the sheer foundations. It's really nice to wear a sheer foundation as I'm doing here and then go in with the concealer where you need a little bit more coverage. Now, this is the Giorgio Armani. Put it all over my pigmentation, it's getting so much darker. Let me just turn off those emails coming through. So this is the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric. Sorry, I got completely distracted with my pigmentation thinking god that is really bad isn't it even factor 50 it's been lovely and sunny in the UK but um it still comes through doesn't it the point of what I'm saying is try and opt for something that's nice and light and fresh on your skin and then go in and zap those areas that you need a little bit more coverage in um, now this is a lovely lovely concealer it doesn't pinch the skin it doesn't dry it out you can see that I'm being very liberal with it um, because I know it will blend nicely into my older skin um, and it won't make it look older. This shade is number six and again I always have like a little sort of pause before I um, touch the concealer just to let it settle in and then pat 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 so that it stays put in those areas but I don't want a really heavy polish finish because this is just a nice lightweight fresh makeup um, a little bit of colour. It's a really beautiful pink lip I'm going to do today um, with a lovely texture of a long lasting lipstick from the Body Shop. Body Shop do great makeup, can I say. Great. Okay, I'm not going to have any powder. Just going to keep it really fresh and simple like that. Um, and so I had some brows on actually earlier because I said, you know what I need to do? I need to tint them. I know when I need to tint them is when I get annoyed with them <laughs> because I just, they are so patchy and then once I've got them tinted I've got more of a shape and I can bear to look at myself. This colour is Cool Blonde and a lot of um, Zanars by the way, if you don't recognise the patching, it's in packaging, too much coffee. Um, it's a NARS brow pencil and it's cool toned and some of the um, brow pencils on myself can actually read quite red and something to do with this camera and light as well it can make them look a little bit sort of auburny or sort of ginger in, in, in my eye they're not um, so I really like this shade anyway I've put a little bit on this morning so I'm ahead of myself there um, but I'm going to finish off with the Anastasia brow in taupe um, now this is the gel again with a little brush and just for me to make sure that I'm kind of lifting and elevating my brows where possible. I just need to make sure that the direction of these brows come in. So I really have to kind of encourage them. It's the right word, isn't it? Encourage them to go up and out there and just in on that side. I don't want them to be too, too done, but that just helps give me a, like a little bit of a lift. 
When you're doing kind of coloured makeup, um, I'm going to show you some lovely mattes that I love wearing. I've been really been quite experimental with my makeup. Normally, I suppose I'm like that at work. I'm surrounded by colour and because I haven't been I'm just like oh, I'm feeling sort of thirsty for colour so I've been whacking on a few colourful shades on my eyes and my husband's a bit like but I like it and it looks really nice and it feels great. Um, what should we start with? Right well the colour that I'm going to be using that I just really really like from the body shop I don't know the name of it actually oh, that's funny I don't know the name of it um, Paris Peony that's so nice isn't it it's the matte liquid zero double two from the body shop and it's such a nice shade um hmm, okay let's put on a bit of blush first oh no sod it let's just go straight for the lip then i could just show you how it kind of works together so that was a really really simple base covers up all the things that i need to conceal it's a good concealer that one isn't it but i'm just going to leave it just fresh as it is um really nice simple doe foot applicator and I love this pink. This particular shade is um, punchy, but it's still soft. It's not like, woof, like too neon -y. Um, But it brightens the whites of my teeth, but it's so creamy. And a lot of the time you find that you need to spend more money with these mattes, the liquid mattes. But this and the Max Factor one are just really, really wearable. So creamy and it stays creamy. And you know, by looking at me, that my lips, especially my top lip, is not perfect. The Vermilion line is slightly weak, not as strong as it used to be. And wearing this allows me to wear the color and I know that it stays in place. Well, you can watch as I do the rest of the makeup. But for a strong colour like that, I think that's a really quick, easy application. And I love it against my sort of tomato orange colour on my top. And my nail zinc nail varnish. I love nail zinc. I've got some great shades at the moment. Okay, well I can stop doing that because I could just do that for about two minutes and bore the pants off you lot. Right, so... For the blush, because I've obviously got the different colours all contrasting like this, I'm just going to use a nudie blush, and this is Canyon by Laura Mercier. Um, just because I want to get a little bit of shape to my face, but I don't want too much colour because it then goes down a different avenue. And I like the strong matte colours on my eyes and on my lips, but I like everything else, just simple. You have a little bit of sheen to your skin, not too much. Um, if you want to kind of go for that sort of flushy finish, that's lovely, but it's sort of, it's sort of softer and feminine. And this is just a little bit more strong and contemporary. So just using a neutral color like this, there's hundreds of them around, just um, creates shape to your face. Building it up gradually, just with my finger. It's a really nice color, this one. I haven't used it for a while, actually. I used to use it a lot on my films. I do try and use a lot of products over and over again. Um, it's really important for me to do that so that you know that I'm not just going through reams and reams of products that are delivered. I get lots of uh, things coming through the door. I'm very fortunate, but I also buy a lot as well. Um, but it's also important to kind of keep going back to those good old products, and that is one of them, lovely. Okay, so for the eyes, I'm going to just do a very soft matte colour, because if I went in with something that was a little bit sparkly would just look a bit dodge and we don't want dodge do we so this is my elf palette and the color of this is berry bed so it's kind of like a pinky there are sort of pinky hues even though it's a bright pink and these are warm pinks i didn't want to just go for a brown because then it just looks too brown but i'm definitely going matte i'm not using any of these shades that have got the metallic in so very simply i'm just going to pull out uh, my lid and blend it into my socket because that's where I need to kind of just push it back a little bit just there just darkening it there makes all the difference and these shadows glide on super easily super smooth oh excuse my sons pulling their bikes out of the shed <laughs> 
and just blend that in. This is a sort of a flat brush, and you can see because my um, lids are slightly damp, I haven't put any powder on them. The, the powder sticks really quickly, um, but it still is blendable. It doesn't separate. Eyeshadows are so good now, aren't they? So this basically just changes the tone on my eye. So I've got the light shade there, and just a slightly warmer shade on my lid. It's very soft, and then once I've got the mascara on, you won't really see it so much. Right, okay, let's... I'm gonna use False Lash Effect, Raven Black. This is a new one um, by Max Factor. And uh, it's nice and inky, big fat lashes. And for this, I'm just going to use it on the top lashes only. I've been doing that a lot more recently, actually. Um, just kind of makes me feel a little bit lifted. Um, funny, isn't it, how emotional we are about our makeup? Um, well, I know I am, definitely. And for those of you who may be kind of like dipping your toe into makeup when you haven't really worn it for a while or you're sort of hopefully been inspired by some of the looks that we've done, it does give you a little bounce to your step, doesn't it? Just just makes you feel good. You can see that that lipstick is just settling really nicely into my lip. And I can just blur the edge of that with my finger. And there's still movement there. It's really pretty. Going in for the second coat, always a second coat. I did a little pause there because it just helps the mascara to really reach its full potential. Doing one, oh look, I mean, come on. <laughs> there we go. Um, where was I? Yes, um, two coats really helps your mascara um, live its full potential. And one coat allows the mascara to sit on the lashes and then your second coat, I'm making a right hash of this today, aren't I? That is too much coffee for you. I wonder whether you'll find this video as calm as the others. You'll probably be like, oh God, turn her off. She's all over the place today. <laughs> I love coffee, but um, I have to be careful. No more than two or three, really, before midday, and then that's my lot, otherwise I, I don't sleep. Anyway, so going back to the mascara tip, two coats, because the mascara really settles well on top of the first coat and you get a much fuller lash. And there we are. It is as simple as that. Now I don't know whether it looks better or not with with or without my hair. Let's see, I might just scrudge it up. I've forever, that's it, there we are. Got a bungee on my wrist. Right, well, whichever way you prefer my hair, I've got one of those days where I can't see myself. You know, when you look at yourself and you think, I don't know if I look better or worse. Anyway, it's about the makeup and um, it's just about pretty strong colours that look great with a contrasting shade or three shades or a simple white t-shirt. Enjoy um, the rest of your week and I look forward to seeing you next weekend. Bye for now.